Leaders are very unique people. They have a very simple distinction, and that is their thinking is different. Leaders do not think like followers. Leaders used to be followers, all of them. But what made them cross the line was a certain mentality that kicked in somewhere. Something happened to them that made them think differently. And I normally call that attitudes that influence people. If you want to be an impactful personality, you have to develop certain types of thinking and perceptions that change the way you see yourself and see the world. I call this the spirit of leadership. A leader has a attitude that makes him or her different from followers. It doesn't matter how big you are, how intelligent you are, how many degrees you get. It's your mind that keeps you small. And it doesn't matter how small you are or how un unintelligent you may seem to be or how much you don't have. It's your mind that makes you the leader. Attitude. The attitude, therefore, is the difference. Write this down. The difference between a leader and a follower is attitude. Why? Because it is unique attitudes that distinguish leaders from followers. They think differently. And that's because attitudes produce certain behaviors. And those behaviors stretch the leader beyond the limitations of the norm. In other words, it is the thinking of the person that makes them see circumstances differently. Your life is what you think it should be. That's exactly what you are right now. You are what you thought you should be. And if you don't like who you are, you gotta change what you think you should be. That's how leaders are born. True leadership is self-discovery. True leadership is serving your gift to the world. Everyone in this room was born with a specific gift. Some of you got two of them. Don't try and develop all of your gifts. Focus on one, make it your primary gift and then refine it, and then serve it to the world. The key to leadership is service, but it doesn't mean servitude as making yourself of less value. You serve because you have value. It is your gift that makes you valuable, and serving it is your responsibility. And the better you serve your gift, the greater the leadership you achieve. That's why Jesus said, the greatest among you is the one who serves everybody. The greatest is the one who serves. So whoever can serve that gift more effectively, they become the greatest in the group. No one came to earth without a gift. The problem is we try to take other people's gifts and make them out. If you become an imitation, you're going to be broke. You need to find your gift, your strength, your unique power. And you need to take that and say, I'm going to become this. And then serve it to the world. And that's your leadership born.